In the evolution of warfare, every era has its defining symbol. And today's battlegrounds are being reshaped by intelligent machines that can think, fly and strike on their own. So in this video, we're giving you the rundown on everything we know so far about AI powered military drones and what they mean for our future. In 2015, former Navy SEAL Brandon Tseng returned from the front lines of Afghanistan with a vision. A question lingered in his mind. What role will autonomy and artificial intelligence play in the military of 2035? He didn't wait two decades for the answer. Together with his brother Ryan, Brandon Tseng co-founded Shield AI, a San Diego-based defense technology company with a bold and urgent mission to redefine the future of military operations by embedding artificial intelligence into autonomous aerial systems. Drawing from Brandon's frontline experience as a Navy SEAL and Ryan's background in advanced engineering and entrepreneurship, the brothers envisioned a future where AI-powered drones could operate independently in the most dangerous, denied and data-degraded environments. Shield AI was not merely founded to build drones, it was founded to pioneer a new era in defense, where intelligent machines augment human warfighters, reduce risk, and radically enhance operational effectiveness on the modern battlefield. Ten years later, that vision has become one of the Pentagon's most compelling assets. Shield AI's signature creation, the V-Bat, is not your average drone, the VBAT is a remarkable feat of engineering, an unmanned aerial system that combines the vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities of a helicopter with the range and speed of a fixed wing aircraft. This hybrid design allows it to launch and recover in confined environments without the need for runways, making it exceptionally versatile in both land and maritime operations. Once airborne, the VBAT transitions smoothly into forward flight, enabling it to cover significant distances with endurance and efficiency. Built for high-stakes missions such as surveillance, reconnaissance and precision strikes, the VBAT thrives in environments where traditional systems struggle. But what makes the VBAT truly groundbreaking is what's inside it. Hive mind. An artificial intelligence pilot capable of making tactical decisions without human input. In regions where GPS signals are jammed, communications are intermittent, or adversaries actively deny access, the VBAT leverages onboard autonomy, powered by Hive Mind, to make tactical decisions in real time. It is not only a flying machine, but a cognitive system capable of interpreting its environment, adapting to rapidly changing conditions, and executing complex operations without direct human control. In other words, this drone doesn't just fly, it thinks. Brandon Seng, drawing on both his combat experience and his forward-looking perspective as a technologist, argues that the prevailing military paradigm centered around a limited fleet of multi-million dollar manned aircraft is increasingly untenable in modern conflict. In an age where low-cost, widely available weapon systems can neutralize these high-value assets, the asymmetry in cost and risk becomes unsustainable. We can't be losing $40 million or $100 million aircraft to cheap weapon systems, Tseng asserts, emphasizing a growing concern among defense strategists. The reality is stark. Adversaries can deploy inexpensive drones, portable missile systems, or electronic warfare tools that severely undermine traditional air power at a fraction of the cost. For Tseng, the solution lies in shifting toward a more distributed intelligent force structure, one in which large costly platforms are supported by swarms of affordable autonomous drones that are both scalable and expendable. This model not only reduces financial exposure, but also enhances adaptability and resilience across a wider range of combat scenarios. It's a strategic recalibration designed not just to preserve resources, but to redefine how air superiority is achieved and maintained in a rapidly evolving threat environment. Instead, he proposes a new structure, a hybrid force, 
where expensive platforms are supported by millions of low-cost intelligent drones. Imagine a formation where stealth jets fly alongside swarms of AI-powered UAVs, each carrying out specialized tasks, each expendable, each connected through a shared digital brain. While Shield AI builds its vision in the United States, elsewhere in the world, AI drones are already on the front lines. Nowhere is this more evident than in Ukraine. Since Russia's invasion, Ukraine has become a living lab for military innovation. AI-powered drones have emerged not just as tools but as game-changers. According to researchers studying the conflict, AI-enhanced drones in Ukraine are three to four times more accurate than those piloted manually. They can identify, track and neutralize targets, often autonomously. And their psychological impact is undeniable. Russian troops report high levels of stress and anxiety, knowing that unseen aerial threats could strike at any time. And of course, Ukraine's success has caught the attention of global powers. In January, Japan announced a partnership with US-based firms, including Shield AI, to bolster its autonomous defense systems. And they're not alone. Across Europe, Asia and the Middle East, countries are rapidly investing in cost-effective, scalable drone fleets fueled by artificial intelligence and machine learning. This isn't just about building faster drones, it's about building smarter ones. The modern battlefield is no longer dominated by size and firepower, it's a contest of efficiency. Traditional fighter jets can cost upwards of $100 million. Each loss is not just a financial blow, it's a strategic one. Replacing these aircraft takes years, and training human pilots is expensive, dangerous and time-consuming. Contrast this with the V-BAT, which can be produced in large quantities, requires no pilot, and can execute missions with little infrastructure. Shield AI's recent success reflects this logic. The company recently closed a $240 million funding round at a valuation exceeding $5 billion. It's also secured a nearly $200 million contract with the US Coast Guard to deploy V-BAT drones, augmenting patrol missions with intelligent flight capabilities. Peter Taig, managing partner in the US Innovative Technology Fund, calls this shift a redefinition of national security priorities. Within the drone space, he notes, we need everything from exquisite high-performance systems to portable, attritable platforms built in the thousands, like those being used in Ukraine. Shield AI is aiming to serve both. But even as the technology advances, serious questions remain. Who is accountable when an autonomous drone makes a fatal mistake? Should artificial intelligence ever be allowed to pull the trigger? Brandon Seng is clear. Shield AI's drones are built to be intelligent, but not to operate independently when it comes to lethal decisions. The human remains in the loop. We believe in responsible autonomy, Tseng emphasizes. AI should pilot the aircraft, but decisions about using force must always remain with the operator. Still, the line between assistance and autonomy is becoming thinner. As AI systems grow more capable, the temptation to remove humans from time-critical decisions will intensify, especially in high-risk environments. International watchdogs and policymakers are now racing to define the rules of engagement for autonomous systems. The stakes are clear. A poorly managed future could lead to drones deciding who lives and who dies without human oversight. The battlefield may be digital, but the consequences are all too human. Shield A, I, is not alone. Other notable players, such as Andural Industries, Skydio, and Israel's Raphael Advanced Defense Systems, are each developing their own iterations of intelligent aerial platforms, contributing to a global race for dominance in next-generation military capability. Andural, founded by Palmer Lucky, is known for its bold vision of software-defined warfare, creating autonomous systems that can detect, track, and neutralize threats with minimal human oversight. 
Skydio, meanwhile, has made significant strides in autonomous flight for small drones with precision obstacle avoidance and AI navigation that has caught the attention of US military and federal agencies alike. On the international stage, Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has integrated AI across multiple platforms, including loitering munitions and drone-based reconnaissance, cementing its role as a leader in technologically advanced defense solutions. Together, these companies represent a tectonic shift in how military power is conceptualized, not through brute force alone, but through intelligent systems that operate faster, more precisely, and often more safely than human-controlled counterparts. But few have Shield AI's blend of military roots, technical expertise, and strategic partnerships. With new leadership, former Splunk CEO Gary Steele stepping in, Shield AI is positioning itself not just as a drone manufacturer, but as a software-first defense powerhouse. Their ambitions are global. Their goals are clear. As former Secretary of Defense nominee Pete Hegseth recently wrote, technology is changing the battlefield and we must change with it. Shield AI and companies like it are building the scaffolding for that change. From coastal patrols to combat zones, from swarming reconnaissance to stealth strike packages. AI-powered drones are no longer experimental. They are operational, they are essential, and soon they may be everywhere. The sky is no longer empty. It's alive with intelligence. As drones begin to operate, not as tools, but as teammates, militaries will need to redefine not just their tactics, but their ethics, budgets, and global strategies. One thing is certain, the future of warfare will not be decided by size or strength, but by the speed of adaptation. And the next great leap is already airborne. If you're someone who doesn't want to get blindsided by AI's next big leap, hit subscribe. We're focused on keeping those who want to stay ahead, even somewhat in the loop, informed. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one.